Hey everybody, it's Anthony here. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at my 2019 Everyday Carry camera bag. This is a messenger bag, it's an over the shoulder. The brand is Ollie Day, waxed canvas out here, so it's got some weather resistance and you got some leather trim as well, like on the pouches here, the straps. The straps on the bag are attached, so if you wanna change these out, you're gonna to have to probably just cut these and uh, swap to something else. Just a quick spin around on the bag so you can take a look. It's not that big and it's only designed to hold like one camera and a few different lenses and that's what I have here. It's not designed to bring your whole camera pack with you. Open up the main compartment and take a look inside, see what I bring around with me. In here, the first thing right off the top is gonna be my main camera of choice and that is the Sony a7 III with the 28 to 75 Tamron lens, the zoom lens. This has been my go-to camera and lens combination for the last few months. Pretty much every time my camera is in the bag, it is stored with the 28 to 75 lens attached to the body. It also just fits really nicely in there on this side pouch and I can just quickly take out the whole camera and be ready to shoot. I'm actually gonna switch right now to the a7 III and start recording the rest of the video on this camera. Now the next item in the bag isn't always in there. It's not every single day, but if I'm gonna be out for quite a few hours, I'm usually bringing this with me, and that is the uh, 2018 iPad Pro. It's the 12.9 inch. Since they redesigned this one and they shrunk the size down just a little, it fits nicely in here. So taking a look inside here, you can see it's got one main large pouch. There's a back slot here if you have a smaller iPad or documents. And then there is a removable camera pouch where you can use these Velcro pieces to adjust the sizes and dividers that you want. I usually have the camera and lens over on the left side. And then there's also two smaller pouches on the inside. So the right of my main divider where the camera usually is, I have three lenses that I usually bring with me. The first one inside a little hard case is the Sony 35 millimeter f2.8 Zeiss lens. This is one of my favorite small compact lenses on the Sony system. It's just incredible and I love it. It's always in my bag. Um, if the Tamron isn't on my camera, it's probably this one. The next lens is my low light performer and I don't actually use this lens that often. It's probably the least used um, in my bag. But I feel like I need to bring it uh, just because I love the shallow depth of field you get with this one and that's the 50 millimeter f1.8. Sony lens. It's one of the cheapest autofocusing lenses you can get as well. And it's light, so might as well just keep it in the bag. The last lens that I have been taking around with me is actually the most recent lens addition to my Sony collection. And that is the Zeiss 16 to 35. F4. It's not as good as the G Master or the new Tamron that's coming out as far as aperture is concerned. It's an older lens and it just performs so well. I love having an ultra wide on me, especially if I'm going to be doing some landscapes. And the F4 is not too bad. I don't really find myself uh, wanting a faster aperture. That is the Sony main camera with the lenses that I bring with me. It's all pretty light stuff here. The heaviest probably being this lens. It's just a nice solid construction. These two are very light. Same with the Tamron. It's for its size. It's a lighter lens being plastic. Next up in my bag is a smaller pocket point and shoot camera and inside this old PSP case is a older Sony RX100. This is the Mark III, and it is just a fun little nifty camera. Fits in any pocket you have. I've taken some really wonderful pictures, even video on this. It's nice, you can sneak it into concerts. This is always in my bag. It does not take up much space, and you never know when you're gonna want an extra little camera. Maybe give it to somebody so they can take pictures too. Who knows? That pretty much covers everything in the main big compartment here. I'm gonna take out the uh, camera divider just so you can see. You can fold it around, change its shape, adjust the Velcro, do all sorts of stuff. On these um, smaller inside pouches, over on this side here, I have two different things, and that uh, first one being the Samsung T5 drive. It's not actually compatible, really, with the iPad Pro. 
Uh, but I bring this around because if I'm going to be transferring files, let's say I'm over at my brother's or something on a trip and I want to just quickly move some files from his computer, from cameras, that kind of thing, it's a really lightweight drive and I don't have to worry about it getting banged around in my bag and then being destroyed and losing data that's on here. And the next thing that's in the pouch there in the front inside is Apple AirPods. I have just a little rubber case on them because I just throw it around in my bag and I kind of want to keep it nice. And you're walking around town and you want to have some music playing and you're taking pictures at the same time and it's real discreet. You don't have cords dangling in front of you like you used to. So I'm a fan of the AirPods. On the inside right pocket, these are all the cords that I usually bring with me. Uh, USB-C to plug into my power bank, regular USB-C to USB-C, a micro with a iPhone adapter, and then just a regular lightning. Where you normally put like a smaller iPad documents or anything that's long and flat, I keep my dongles. There's two of them in here. Uh, one of them's a USB-C, which has USB-C pass-through, a micro SD card reader, SD card reader, two USB 3.1s, an HDMI. So it kind of has everything covered I need on an iPad Pro. Then I also have a lightning one, and that's just a USB, and then it's also got lightning to charge. So if I want to import photos through on my iPad, I can do that, or if I want to just quickly do it on my phone, I can do that as well. Move into the front outside pouches up here. We got just my power bank. I don't really keep anything else in there. These pouches in the front are nice. They're lined with a soft material. You don't have to worry about maybe like scratching your phone screen or something like that when you put it in there. The inside ones are just a nylon woven one. There's no uh, soft material to it. So I keep my older Chero power bank in there. I've been looking for one that's got two USB-Cs and then one traditional USB-A on there. That would be great. I just haven't found one that I've wanted to buy. So the front right pouch here, let's see, this is just a whole bunch of little knickknacks that I keep in my bag. Things like having some gum, some full frame sensor wipes. These come in handy so often. I never leave the house without at least one of these in my bag. And if I'm going out for at least a weekend trip or something, there's at least two in there. Just so many times I switch lenses and there's dust all over and it looks terrible. Coins, Jolly Ranchers, cough drops, lip balm, just a regular traditional pen. And then moving to the outside right pouch here, I have filters inside here. There's just different lens filters and uh, some adapters for SD cards to read, extra SD card. And then I also have microfiber cloth, probably should have an extra one in there. And the last thing in this pouch are two larger circular polarizing filters just for the bigger lenses. The last pouch here just holds two things and that's my uh, thermos, keeps my drinks warm, keeps them cool. And it was real cheap on Amazon, two pack of them was like less than 20 bucks. So can't go wrong with that. Always nice to have some liquids. And then an, a cheap pair of sunglasses I just added recently uh, is one of these little, little clips. But it's so easy to just, you know, if you wanna bring a little tripod, you clip it on, it's good to go. It dangles off the side, but you have it right there, quick access. Or if like I'm traveling on the airplane and I wanna have like my headphones with me, I'll just clip them on the side. Save space, you're only supposed to bring one bag on the plane, but they're hanging off the side, they don't know. Well, that is my small messenger everyday carry bag. Actually holds quite a bit of stuff. And when I put all of this back in, there's still room on the top for a lot more. Um, if it's raining or snowing outside, I might weather seal it up with this uh, zip here but I actually don't use it too often, so I kind of tuck it away, hide it inside the old iPad uh, folio. And yeah, so there's my everyday camera bag for 2019. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. The next large thing I keep in my bag is Circa. No, you can't go with me on my photo shoot. Stay away from that, you dumb.